Money is a drug. You get some money in your hand and you just want to spend it. Not spend it. You want to spend it. Like you just want to get rid of it so quickly. I don't even understand it. Why? Why is money a drug? Remember that old song? For the love of money, you'll kill your own brother. It's an old song, 70s or 80s, somewhere in there. But it means something. Understand this, guys. Money is a drug because people have killed family members, loved ones, wives, husbands, kids, people they don't even know. Set people up because money is not the rule of all evil, but yet it's the rule that we live by. If it ain't money, then it ain't nothing. But this is the thing. Money can get you in trouble. See, we talk about the psychology of money, and this is the thing. If you're willing to hurt somebody, to kill somebody for this drug called money, then maybe you need help. Now, granted, I'm pretty sure you can find a therapist, a friend, a mediator, psychologist, a social worker, someone at the Boys and Girls Club, at the local community center, somewhere you can talk about if you have a problem with money. And what I mean is that you will go to any length, right? You will go to any thing, you will go to any height to get money. I remember when I used to watch television, especially music videos, especially rap videos. I used to see the glamour. Okay. I used to see the money, the women, the cars, they, used to, you know, spurs. I'm like, I want to be like that. Not like all flashy, but I wanted that money. Then I said, the problem is I see what I want but I don't want it like that. So how do I work my tail off and get rich? Now, granted, I don't have any special talents like they do. They, these guys are master of the art of rapping or hip hop or music or making beats. But when you have reached the pinnacle of your thought, when you have reached the apex of your mind, you then have to do what? Reboot. You have the reboot. But when I saw these videos, and I think everybody at a given time frame say, hey, I want those expensive cars. I want those nice houses. But the one question you never ask yourself is what are you doing to get it? And once you get it, how do you keep it? Because a lot of those people you've seen, they probably don't even have that same type of money. But money is such a drug that it controls you. How much value do you put into your friends? How much value do you put into your family? It amazes me how you won't be late for work, but you will be late to anything else because it has nothing to do with your money. Now, that's a matter of respect. You don't respect anything if that's your mindset or even if you just do it because I've had people to meet me or somewhere and had nothing to do with money, right? Just for, and they're late. I'm like, man, you're like 40 minutes late. What's going on? Oh, well, you know, I had to do this, that, and the other. And I know things come up, but it's funny. Nothing comes up when it's dealing with your job, when it's dealing with your work, when it's dealing with that money. I just want you guys to look at this in a really retrospective way that if money is controlling you in any aspect of your life or money doesn't motivate you positively, but it motivates you negatively. And what that mean is, if there's nothing you're doing is dealing with money, you don't really care too much about it. And that's not the way to go about money. Money is a very positive object that you can use and have to change people in your life all across the board. So recognize that for some, money is a drug. And for others, Money is a tool. Let's hop on that. Money is a tool, but for some, money is a drug. That means they're willing to do anything to get it. Where 
people who recognize money as a tool, they work hard to get it and they utilize it to get more money and to help others out. Whether it be giving them money, helping them with money, or helping them understand money. So hopefully this really short video helped one of you guys out talking about money. I'm out.